bluegrass Hall of Famer Doyle Lawson remains passionate about his music, even after playing professionally for more than 35 years. Having recorded about 40 albums, you might think things would get a little stale, but as Doyle inspires many other musicians, you can see through Roads Well Traveled how the current lineup of Quicksilver inspires him. Here's Kelly at the release party for his latest album. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. <laughs> I'm here with Doyle Lawson, the newest member of the International Bluegrass Hall of Fame. What an yeah. honor. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you, Kelly? I'm so good. It's great to be here today. Thank now, you. You guys have a new project. We do. Doyle Lawson yeah. and Quicksilver. Hot off the press. Hot off the press. Be careful. It might burn your hand. It's so fresh. That's it? good. <laughs> it is so fresh. And people are going to come out today. Tell us a little bit about what's going to happen. Well, we're going to come out and talk to folks like you, of course. And... Uh, then uh, mix and mingle, visit a little bit, and then we're going to slip back here and uh, oh, play four, five, six maybe, depending on how wound up I get, do some new material from the, uh, the uh, new CD. Now you've had over 40 albums come out, so this being one of those, I guess this would be maybe 41st, have we lost count? Or? Well, I've had actually with my group since uh, 79, I've had my own group. That's number 38. 38. But yeah, I was in the business. I started in 63 uh, playing music professionally. So uh, there's more, a lot more albums than that, or CD than that. But 38 with my band. Wow. And so how does this album, tell me a little bit about what makes this one unique and the songs on it and how it stands out. I, I guess usually the newer the music and the more fresh, the more excited artists are about it. Is that the case in this situation? Well, I'm always, I'm always excited about anything that I record because if I wasn't excited, I wouldn't record it to begin with. There you know. You but this one here uh, is special to me. I, I don't know. I like, I like stories or songs that have a story. And certainly this one is chock full of, of stories. Uh, stories of uh, never ending loves between a man and a woman, which I'm partial to, you know, and uh, uh, some a little less uh, intense. Uh, got a song about a dope role player named Joe on there, and uh, uh, got a song about uh, Fiddling Will, as well as some of the more serious side of uh, One Small Miracle, that's the Bill Anderson and Steve Warner song, uh, and uh, Say Hello to Heaven, which is a great, great song. Uh, when love is all you want. How do you say goodbye to 60 years? We opened it up with a song that been laying around for a while, but was recorded back some time back by uh, Lee Greenwood, uh, Dixie Road. Oh, yeah. And I wanted, I thought that's a perfect opener for the CD. You know, I'm very proud of it. Please don't you have just one small miracle. Talk a little bit about getting inducted because you're the newest member of the Bluegrass International Hall of Fame. Yeah. That's quite an honor. It is. You know, in my wildest imagination, Kelly, I never would have never thought. You know, I started when I wanted to, I always wanted to, from the time I was five years old, I knew I wanted to play this kind of music. Uh, Bill Monroe, of course, is the father, of, we recognize as the father of Bluegrass. And I heard him on the Grand Ole Opry. I was just a little fella. My mother told me who it was, and, and I said, that's what I want to do. Well, I, I met uh, a, a man named Jimmy Martin, who was, was known as the king of bluegrass uh, when I was 14, and uh, four years later I went to work with him. I never, uh, in the early days, all I wanted to do was be on stage with a band playing this kind of music. And uh, I never thought about ever, at that time, being a, a leader of a group or whatever. I just wanted to play music. Uh, then as you mature as a person, an adult, and you mature as a musician, then these things start to come to you that, well, you know, you, I'd like to do this. I'd always gone where that, the, the, uh, the style was already set. You know, Jimmy Martin had his style, and uh, I went to J.D. Crow, and then I went to the country gentlemen who had their style, and they all had that individual. And I thought, it would really be neat for me to go in from the ground floor up and do what I want to do. Not taking anything away from the other people, but I, I just had things that I wanted to do without having to get approval. And, uh, uh, you know, I've been, I've been a part of a partnership. And, you know, when you have a partnership, 
you win a few battles, you lose a few, and I, I never liked the losing part. I like <laughs> so, the winning part. I like the winning part, and I, I thought, well, okay, I'll make the decision, and if if I if I miss on this one, then I've got nobody to blame but myself, you know. Very but uh, well, it's worked out for you. Well, it seems like it has. Yeah, it has, and it is still working. What a wonderful project this is! We're so thrilled to get to be here today, and you guys make sure you get Rose well traveled. We look forward to more from Dole Lawson and all those roads you're going to travel. Thank you. Thank Karen. you. Now it's time for our weekly songwriter tip. This week we sit down with hit writer Dale Dodson as he talks about writing songs for you and for the radio. What else I like to look for in a song, is, especially when I'm listening to songs, is whether I like something that has this depth to it when I'm going through catalog. And I put it over here like, oh, wow, that song made me feel good. It made me cry. It made me do this thing. And then I also listen in another way of, hey, radio's going to play that. And you got and then, of course, it's not that great, which is the third thing. And then I just pass on it. But those two things, I try to keep a separation between. Some people just go, hey, you know, this is a great song, but, and that's what I love to do. But then I also like to listen for the radio, too. And I think that's a big difference is between writing songs for the radio and getting a hit record and making a ton of money or one of them great songs that's on a record or it could be like A House That Built Me which is just a phenomenal song that crossed all killer song made you cry made you think but then radio hit for more information on the craft of songwriting check out nashvillesongwriters.com that's about all the time we have for this week's show but don't forget those new discs Roads Well Traveled we have up for grabs from Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver if you want to enter this week's drawing head on over to insidemusicrow.com to get signed up we're going to leave you today with that number one hit from Gary Allen. Here is Every Storm Runs Out of Rain. Don't miss us next week when we check out a new video from Rascal Flats. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.